What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back for the 2023 Mr. Olympia Finals. And we have the men on stage right now. We have our first call out. I'll go through that with you guys. I'll get some screen captures so you guys can see sort of what's happening at the 2023 Mr. Olympia. First call out is Brandon Curry, Derek Lunsford, Hardy Chupin, and Samson Dowder. And they're keeping Brandon Curry in that top four. So he's he's in there instead of Andrew Jacked. So we've got Andrew Jacked. I'll just turn it down a little bit because I've got those guys commentary in my ear quite loud. So we've got Hardy Chupin and Derek Lunsford in the middle. You've got Samson Dowder and Brandon Curry either side. I have a feeling this contest is going to go Hardy Chupin, Derek Lunsford, Samson Dowder, Brandon Curry. Oh, it's front light spread. There's some guys looking good on this one. Brandon is definitely improved. I would love to see Brandon be able to move up. He's much fuller. He looks more conditioned, and it's not surprising considering the issues he had. So let me know who you guys have winning the 2023 Miss Olympia. Drop your comments and also vote in the poll as well. I will be showing some screen captures very, very soon, guys. So you can at least see what's happening at the show. Okay, back double bicep, Derek Lunsford hands down. It's cool to see him now next to all these other guys. Now I've already seen their physiques. Samson and Andrew are standing side by side too, which is... Oh, back lat spread. That's the thing now. Andrew Jacked beat Samson on that back lat spread narrowly, not by a huge amount. But it's quite funny how they're both tall guys and also have that sort of similar deficiency in their physique, if you want to call it a deficiency, you know. Now I've got to zoom in of the top three. You've got Samson Doubter. He's on the left. Oh, Samson, when he goes through his shots and goes to go into them. I think Brandon, for me, it's Brandon or Andrew, fourth. And Hunter's up there as well. And Hunter looks good. You can't take that away from Hunter, that's for sure. Okay, these guys are looking good. I think a bunch of guys did improve which is something we do see a fair bit. All right. That was cool. Derek's pumped up. Hardy's pumped up. And uh, Phil Heath loves it when guys hit the hit that most muscular at the end before they walk off, and he said, Mr. Olympia should do that. So I don't know if he went back and listened to the play-by-play -play or what, but... So second call out coming up, and I'll show you guys the screen captures very, very soon. Okay, so we've got Tonio Burton, Mikkel Cruzo, Hassan Mustafa, Regan Grimes, Andrea Presti, and Charles Griffin. So in the middle, we're going to have Mikkel Cruzo and Tonio. I literally could get my predictions exactly right based on these callouts, but Derek Lunsford would have to win, which I'm not sure of. But had I picked Hardy... Because I feel like Hardy, more people think Hardy's going to win than some of these other guys. And I think I can definitely see that, you know. Looking at it more now, I can definitely see it. So I'll show you guys some screen captures. Just give me one second, guys. Uh, hold up, guys. I'm just trying to wait for these to come up. Here we go. Share screen. And we've got a bunch of other divisions tonight as well. So we'll be going through it. And I've got the HD footage courtesy. This footage is courtesy of Gilco Productions. It's next level footage. All right. So let's have a look at this. If it wants to share. It's going a little laggy. Hopefully, let me know if you can't hear me for whatever reason or anything like that. If there's any issues with this. So this is your first call out at the finals of the 2023 Mr. Olympia. We have Andrew Jacked on the left, Samson Dowder next to him, Hardy Chupin next to him, Derek Lunsford next to him, Brandon Curry second on the right, and then Hunter Labrada on the far right. And you can see Hunter there. Looks, I mean, is Hunter second on the back double? A little bit overlooked maybe, who knows? You got Samson here, looks crazy. Hardy... Derek, Brandon, and Brandon is definitely improved, but I still don't think he's in that top three group. Get a screenshot of these guys from the back. A 
about to hit a side try. Who's got this one? Charles Griffin has a very impressive side try these days. It's ridiculous. He's going to try to get a screen capture of it. They zoomed in a little bit on uh, Tonio and Mikel Cruzo. Sorry, guys, I'm back. I'm back. I just had uh, internet drop for one second. But hopefully you guys can hear me all good and it's all fine. Let me know if there's any issues with the audio. I'll keep an eye on the chat. But I'm back. It's all good. Final call out is uh, Phil Klahar, Justin Shire, Regan Grimes, and Theo Le Guerriere. And these guys look good too. That's the thing. So they put Roman and Theo in the middle. Theo looks really good. I thought Theo could have even been in a call-out higher. I think that he's winning this call-out personally. And followed by Roman, then Justin, then Phil Klahar. That's how I'd have it playing out. I think Justin just needs a bit more time with his physique and just needs to mature it out a little bit more. And yeah, just come in that real shredded, crisp look. All right, I'll show you a few more of these. Got uh, Samson Dowder here on the left. I thought he looked really impressive when he moved into this. I thought he looked really, really impressive. Hardy Chupin shredded. And then Derek Lunsford, this is how he hits his ab and thigh now, which looks crazy impressive. And his legs, look at his legs. The way he's bowing them out. They look like the biggest legs on stage there. So he's doing well with this. I'd like to see him crunch on it hard and then go up into this. Because that's sort of the last impression, which looks crazy impressive. So that's what I'd like to see. Then we've got Samson Dowder, obviously Hardy Chupin, and Derek Lunsford. See, when you zoom out on this one, I really like this look of Derek Lunsford because he is coming harder through here, I think, than last year and just looks a bit more dense in that upper body because the legs looked great last year, but you can see there's a lot of hardness there. A lot of hardness there. So I think Derek's side shots have definitely improved a lot. And there's a rear lat spread. So I'm very impressed with Hunter. Got to give him his credit because back double bicep, I have been second. Rear lat spread, he's probably behind Hardy and Derek there, but I'd say he's third. There's some shots where Hunter is doing well. There's the back double bicep there. And we're going to have a lot more call-outs coming up, guys. We've got posing routines, a whole bunch of stuff in other divisions as well, so make sure you stay tuned. Someone said, I thought Open was going to be last. Yeah, they had it last on the list, but I'm assuming they're going to draw Open out. Or they've decided that these guys have to wait too long and they're, <laughs> they're going to put them on earlier. I've got some double audio going on with uh, this stream right now. I wonder if it's playing in two spots on my computer. It doesn't appear to be. No, it's fine now. Okay, so we've got a call out where it's a battle for fourth. I'll pop this screen out. Okay, so they're putting Hunter in the, they've put Hunter in the middle with Brandon. That's what I said. Hunter looks really good. Oh no, Steve Weinberg is just saying some of the poses twice because I think they can't hear it hear it. Brandon wins the front double over Hunter Labrada. I'm going to go pose by pose on this one. I'll bring you guys some more screen grabs in just a second. Hang tight, guys. Yeah, I'd say side chest, I'd give that to Brandon. I didn't see them zoomed in together because it was zoomed in on Andrew Jackson, and Hunter Labrada, I think it was. Back double bicep, yep, I've got Hunter. Cruzo looks good, but he just needs to open that back up a little bit more. 
He's got a little bit pinched in on his traps, and I think that just hurts him just a little bit. When is Classic Physique? Classic Physique is going to be up very soon. We've already had Bikini, um, but Bikini will back out again for individuals. But yeah, I don't know if they're going to go to Bikini individuals next, Classic Physique, or how they're going to do it. So Classic might be up next, you know, so we might just have comparisons here and then do, do it that way. Brandon, very good on the side tricep, but also Hunter's good on that one as well. Oh, Brandon is shredded. Yeah, Brandon. Okay, switching Andrew and Hunter now, so we're going to compare Andrew in there. So tonight we've got the classic physique, we've got the men's physique. We've got the open and we've got the bikini, I believe it is. All right, I'm going to show you guys some more screen captures. Just remove my video off the screen for a second, see if that improves. So it looks like it looks like I'm lagging a little. Just do that for a second. All right, let me pull up these screen captures for you guys. Just give me one moment. Uh, I'll put this up on the screen in the meantime. Uh, I think Phil and a bunch of these other guys are saying that Brandon's getting better as he poses. I think they're talking about Brandon. Just mildly listening. Going through his poses pretty quick now. They, 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 it seems like they're making an effort to make this not go all night, this show, which is great. It's funny because I can hear I can hear Steve Weinberger very easily on this, but he's having to say it a few times. I don't know if the competitors can hear him that well. Oops, so did I have that right one? There we go, yep. So this was that second group of call-outs, so the battle for fourth place. Uh, oh, no, battle for... No, this is the second call-out, sorry. This was after everyone. Battle for seventh place, I believe it is. And then we've got... These guys have got, uh, obviously, Regan Grimes on the left, Tony Burton. Okay, we've got Samson, Derek, and Hardy now. And let me know, this is a battle for fourth place. Oh, my stream just... Froze for a second. Let me, let me refresh this. Uh, Steve Weinberg is telling him to get on the line. These guys try to creep forward every time, which I do too. Whoa, Samson looks so good when he comes out. In that. Samson in the middle right now. We have Samson in the middle. Samson's looking really good here. I have a feeling we'll see it move a little bit in terms of like Samson fades and Hardy gets better. But when Samson first came out yesterday, I was like, wow, he can win it. But then as things went on, I was like, it looks like he's fading a little bit. And it was a pretty long pre-judging. All right, we're going into rear lat spread now. Make sure you guys can still hear me all right. Still the same photos? Yeah, I'll... I'll uh, these are different photos to the last time I put some up. There's some different ones for you guys. Look how shredded Brandon Curry is there. It's a little dark, but you can you can see it. Doing abs and thighs now. This is what I'm watching too, by the way. What you're seeing on the screen is just a couple of screen captures. And I will be featuring some more up there as well. So make sure you... Stay tuned. Got to just change the quality on this stream. I'll go through it again and probably a few more times. Okay, he said, thank you, gentlemen. I thought I was done and they just said, 
Hardy and Samson switch. I think Hardy thought he was done with the posing. <laughs> he switches for you guys. You see Brandon, he's pretty damn hard there. Against a guy who probably has the best front double in the world in Andrew Jack, so that's saying something. Going to a side chest. Derek's good on the side chest. But so is Hardy. I mean, some people, like Dave Plumbo was saying that all these guys are off outside of maybe Hardy being in decent condition, but then he said Derek's shredded from the back. Yeah, there are guys that can be in better condition here, for sure. Like if Samson can get in a bit better condition, but I know Samson kills himself to get in this shape, you know? So I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it is the same photos on here. I was just going through someone. Sorry, guys. I'll stop that screen share. Should pop me back up on the screen. I don't know why that happened. Because I'm going through these ones on my computer separate and they're not changing. So, sorry about that. There you go. You should be able to see that now. Screen frozen, yeah. It's not frozen. It's just literally that I was doing that. I put myself in the corner, so. There we go. So, you can see if it's actually frozen or not. You guys can let me know otherwise. Hitting the most muscular now. I'm assuming we're going to put Derek in the middle. Otherwise, that's a clear directive. Yes. Phil's saying he's going to have him go again. Yep, Derek and Hardy switch. So Derek's last in the middle. Is that any indication that this might be our Mr. Olympia? I would not be surprised if Derek Lonsford won this. I think there'll be people complaining, but... So there's that one I was saying where Brandon looks shredded. <clears throat> really, really hard in condition there. Look at Andrew Jackson at back double. How much has he improved that? It's wild. Samson's sweating a little bit now. Just around his neck, just down from his neck. But this is the last round, so. You just notice the sweat coming on Samson a little bit more, but it's not it's not terrible. It's not to the point where it's bad, bad or anything like that. Hopefully Samson's not mentally letting it get to himself because I know when you're sweating sometimes and you'll go, oh my God, I'm sweating, stop sweating. And then you start sweating more. Yeah, Lunsford looks really good on the side tricep. But across the board, Hardy's so consistent. He hits his ab and thigh and it's shredded. I think he wins that one. And they said, for the final time, your favorite most muscular. So this is the call-outs, guys. Awesome. That's it. That is it. I'll put up these screen captures in just a second, guys. That's exciting. Loved it. All right. Let me put up these screen captures of the top three. I said we're going to bring him back in just a bit. We're going to give him a little break. So I assume we're going to go to another division briefly, and then they'll bring back the open men. So... Okay. All right, we've got some screen captures here. Shaquille O'Neal's talking on the thing now. He said he'll pose down with Batista, but not today. <laughs> he said, not today. I've had a couple sandwiches. Shaq's the coolest. All right, I'll show you some screen captures. Stop screen. 
All right, let me share these new screen captures. All right, I'm gonna get some comments while Shaq's talking as well. I love how Shaq loves bodybuilding. <laughs> Shaq just said, um, on the microphone, literally sitting in the crowd and it's going around the whole crowd. He said, he said, bring back Phil Heath. And Phil's commentating this as well. <laughs> Shaq's awesome. They should literally get Shaq to do because Shaq's a DJ, so it'd be fun to have Shaq DJ at the Olympia. Literally, fifteen minutes. How fun would that be? I mean, you don't want to extend the length of the show, but that would be fun. I think everyone would enjoy it. All right, I'll show you a few more screen captures, guys. Let me know who you have winning. Hardy and Derek are so short. It's compared to Samson, yeah. Samson is tall. I mean, and Derek is probably an inch shorter than Hardy, I'd say. He's got a bit more of a crouch stance on that one. Uh, Fabian Fisher saying, is Dino or Urs second or third? Uh, Dino is second. Unless we see what happened with Ian Valier back at the Arnold Classic where he wasn't in the final two call out and then he placed second. Unless we see that, Dino's, Dino's second in my opinion. Yeah. City Wrestle saying C-Bomb already won. No super chats as yet. We've got 3,500 people. And if you are in here watching this live, give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, comment. It all helps the algorithm. Send it to your friends, post it on IG, all that good stuff. And it'd be much appreciated. And I'm going to try to reach out to anyone who shares this on IG. I'll try to reach out. Oh my God, this is a commitment. Because if a hundred of you share it, no, it's fine. If you share this on IG, I'll send you back a uh, voice message thanking you. So there you go. But you've got to share it with the link as well. So copy the link, share, take a photo of the thing. And then, uh, yeah, let people know to tune in to desktop bodybuilding. And I'll send you a personalized voice message, which I don't even know if you care about getting, but <laughs> you're going to get it anyway. They're mentioning Nick Walker on the stream right now. But you've got Hardy Chupin here and Samson Doubter. You can see the difference. Oh, first super chat of the day from Sky. So it's size versus shape versus conditioning. Size, you'd have to say, is with... Well, size is sort of... Who has the most size? I mean, it's relative to how big the physique is. Samson is the biggest guy on stage and has crazy shape, but so does Derek have crazy shape and has a lot of freaky muscle. And... Hardy has a lot of freaky muscle. Shape, you'd, you'd say Samson or Derek. Conditioning, you'd say Hardy. But Derek from the back is shredded. So how much do you weigh someone missing missing the conditioning from the front a little bit? From the side, he has it, Derek. But from the back, he's inside out. Very, very interesting. Who is this guy? Don't send money. Put you in time out. <laughs> Catch you never. Um, same old G, another super chat. Sam, Samson wins. He very well could. He very well could. I would love to see. It. I know Samson. He's a legend. And thank you so much for the super chat. Same old G. Much appreciated. And these are from the finals too. The guys are off stage now. They're just doing some talking. So good time to be on here. Would Andrew give Derek a run? I don't think so. That's from Wayland Weller. Just got the thing open. So that's the way he hits this now. And Hardy from the front when he hits his ab pose and from the side is very impressive. I'm glad Samson hit this at finals. He has that little bit of distension. If he could pull it in like Hardy, Samson dominates his pose. What are they saying right now? Oh, okay. They're bringing out the wheelchair guys now. I don't know if they were on the schedule for this. Unless they're featuring on the main stage because it says, Mr. Olympia Finals, 
Men's Physique Olympia Finals, Bikini and Classic Physique. He looks like he's doing his routine. Interesting. Back to some of these new comments from you guys. I'm going to go to the poll now. So if you haven't voted on the poll, vote on the poll. I want to see the percentages. I'm a percentage guy. I'm a stats guy. I'm a numbers guy. So figure out who you guys have winning. And I'm going to put up one for the classic physique as well. But I'm going to say, because most people are going to say, say see bum. I'm going, to, I'm going to put it up anyway. Just open this up on YouTube. This might slow it a little bit. Oh no, so this is the, I think the wheelchair Mr. Olympia on stage right now, which is not Harold Kelly. So we might have had a change up in the wheelchair Olympia. Interesting. Okay, so I think we just had a super chat. Did I just have another super chat? Or is that the same one? Oh, we had another super chat. Super chats, likes and shares are what keeps channels alive. Uh, if you love to watch it, then drop a like, a share or a super chat. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, Holchek, Holichek. Uh, 4075. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. And people don't realize that if you're doing this and doing this for hours on end, that it is, it is your job. So yeah, it is what keeps the channel alive. Sharing, commenting, all that sort of stuff. It really, it really does help. Someone said, Wayland Weller said, did Hunter dry out a lot? Yes. I would say he was a lot better here at finals. I, he really stood out to me, but I wasn't analyzing him as much at prejudging. So Sort of tough to say for a hundred percent one way or another. Um, okay, so the poll result. Poll results. Whoa, eight thousand one hundred and wow, they're coming in quick. One thousand. Well, let's say eight thousand two hundred votes. So a pretty decent. Oh, it's over that now. Decent sample size. Who do you have winning the twenty twenty three Mister Olympia? Fifty five percent are saying Hardy Chupin. 31% Derek Lunsford and 14% Samson Doubter. So, I mean, for me, let's get a Samson Doubter win so then we can get some controversy. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. But um, Samson at certain stages looks like he's Mr. Olympia. He really does. But at other times, you're like, he just, to be Mr. Olympia, he needs to be a little bit more crisp in certain areas. You can see, you know, he doesn't have any areas that are inside out. You know what I mean? The hamstrings are getting there. The, the, the hamstrings are there. But if he can just bring that bit more dryness to his physique, and he is a water retentive guy, so he holds fluid a lot easier. And he needs to be full as well to have the muscle popping. So it's really, really tough to uh, for Samson to nail, nail it 100% in that way, but he's bringing his best and getting better and better. And I think Milos, even though people say he's not hard, he, oh, Milos should just get him harder. The dude eats like two eggs for breakfast. You know, he tries everything. He's very uh, difficult. Um, Trailblazer82, I haven't read this yet. I feel like Derek and Seabum are overhyped by YouTubers. Uh, they're good, but other competitors are very close, uh, but they are more popular in the US. Uh, I, I disagree because I'm one of those people that's like, Derek is crazy. Like you, he would be one of those guys, you'd see him in person and go like, wow, people said they were shocked last year and like, how do you get better than that? That just needs more conditioning in certain areas, which he does. But you look at this side chest pose, those legs from waist down, it's more impressive than Hardy and Samson. Yes, the arm shoulder region isn't as crisp, but how much does that area just matter in the overall pose? I don't know. With Seabum, if, you, if you're watching the live stream, I don't think you're saying that unless you're Brazilian or German <laughs> because I just don't think that when you're watching him, Seabum walks out and you go, wow, like it's crazy. Menes, congrats on 50K. Thank you for the content. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I think we might be, are we over 51 now? You guys have been awesome. If you're not subscribed to Desktop Bodybuilding, I have a ton of content coming out. I'm making a real pledge to put out more content overall. Try to you make it a minimum of a video a day, if not two. Lots of interesting topics. 51,302 subscribers right now. Thank you guys for helping me smash over 150 uh it's it's awesome 
and coming up on uh, in the last 48 hours, which YouTube gives you the stats, almost at a million views now. And that's not YouTube shorts views or anything like that. Now we've got the men on now. We've got uh, Andrew Jacked hitting his posing routine. Get a couple of screen captures of Andrew. I'm just watching Andrew to see how much his posing may have improved. He's going down to the splits. What a legend. He's doing it really slow too without using his hands. Wow. Until he got to the bottom. He literally almost has his junk on the ground. He's hitting that crazy of a splits. That might be courtesy of Benos Gym because in Benos Gym, I know they've got those crazy stretching machines. I've seen Sergio Oliva Jr. use them. There's a real spread. Like it's so hard to judge from this because you see Hardy, sort of that color you can see a lot easier in this lighting, and he's more upright, which actually probably works for him. Derek is more angled, which I think is better in general because he's making his waist pushing that forward, making it look smaller, then popping his back back, and then bending his knees a bit more. But it shadows everything much, much more. And then Samson obviously has the dark complexion, so he's obviously going to be very shadowed. In person, I think it's a lot different from what I've heard. Someone said he teabagged the stage. <laughs> I'll show you him teabagging the stage. I'll wait for a few more competitors come out and I'll change up these images. And you guys can see a little bit more. I'm waking up now. <laughs> it's uh haven't had that much sleep over the weekend. When do they pick the winner? I'm not sure. We're going to have Classic Physique, a few other divisions as well. Cruzo's out on stage now. There's tons of smoke on the stage. So when they walk out, they must all have this smoke that comes up. I don't know if it's just coming out all the time or what. It looks like it's still pouring out from backstage. In one of the Australian comps back in the day, they had um bikini competition and these women's heels kept going through the stage. And I could just imagine with the smoke, like imagine that the Olympia just wouldn't stop coming out and people are coughing, choking on it. Disaster. I don't think it would happen. Why does Cruzo have the face of a 50-year-old man? Scott, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to his face, but... Get a few of these screen captures for you guys. Phil Heath suggesting that Cruzo should come out to the US and train with a few pros as well. Oh, he just crab most muscular. It looked crazy. I just missed it. Cruzo is definitely getting better at posing. I've become more of a fan of Cruzo over this uh, weekend. Definitely more of a fan of Cruzo. He doesn't speak the best English, but hopefully because I'd actually love to interview him. Second place classic. I think second place classic will be Ramon Dino. Okay, Samson Dowd is coming out now. Or as Bob Chicarelli calls him, Samson Dauda. Oh, we've got this cool intro lighting for ever all of them. Okay. I'm trying to get a screen capture of this. Gee, Samson looks good when he just walks out. If it was the walking Mr. Olympia, you'd give it to Samson. Just standing there around muscle bellies and everything. Just when he hits certain shots, it doesn't convert the same way. Wow, he looks by himself as well. For a tall guy, he is so thickly muscled. I think all Samson needs to do is condition his physique more, and he is Mr. Olympia. Poses beautifully. When's the classic results? The classic guys haven't been out yet, but I'll have some screen captures uh, and whatnot when they come out, and then I'll give some results. Why is it frozen? Yeah, my my thing's frozen a little bit. I'll uh, feature some more screen captures there. You can see the front lat spread. You can see how wide Samson is. Even though Hardy, I think, has is winning this pose versus Samson, Samson's a lot closer tonight. Absolutely. Let's 
Samson always has cool routines. There's some crazy lighting going on in here right now with this show. So it's, it's yeah, it's too much of those strobe lights that it, you can't have a stream looking like this. I know it's a performance in a show, but you can do it between posing your routines and then maybe have it explode near the end. Because it just makes, it just affects the camera's lighting so much that they look all like, like they have no contrast at certain stages overexposed. You guys will see it when I put up screen captures. Like the blacks are not black at all. I don't mean the people. I mean the, the black colors on the screen. So. Oh, I have a missed super chat. Oh, I've missed multiple. Sorry, guys. Edward Watkins says, I feel as though Derek brought a drier package to the final stage. He looked really good. Absolutely. I totally agree, Edward. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. I hope you're still on this one. And thank you for... Yeah, thank you for the Super Chat. <laughs> uh, and then we have Zonin. Samson needs whatever protocol Kim Williams was on in 2020. They have similar thick skin. Yeah, that's that's funny because 2020, Akeem was crazy. Absolutely crazy. So I believe it's the top 10 Mr. Olympia routines because Tony O'Burton is coming out. All right, I'm going to show you guys some screen captures of the individuals. Anyone who drops a super chat as well, I'll give you a shout out at the end of the video also. Let's try to get over 5,000 people in here. We've actually got less than last night, which is surprising. So give the video a thumbs up, smash the like button, comment who you have winning, all that good stuff. And I'll feature some of your comments on there as well. Paolo Alto Niner says, Hardy's Serratus and Obliques look really good. They do. Let me show you. There. <laughs> that is crazy. Someone said these physiques look ugly. I don't think so at all. Tony, when he's moving, you have to believe me, he looks crazy. Wow. Tony is very good. He has a smaller stru structure overall. Wow, he's dense. Back is so dense. Just walking off the stage, I just want to take a photo of that. I just missed it, but it's just so thickly muscled. And that's why when he stood next to Samson Dowder, I put a photo up yesterday, my pre-judging review, I think it was, and it showed... Samson Dowder next to Tonio hitting a back double bicep and it was close up sort of a little bit from the side and you can see how much hardness is in Tonio's back and if Samson had that hardness he's Mr. Olympia I have zero doubt about that so Regan's about to come out Regan's made the top 10 by the looks of it there's no guys that I don't think would have been up here that would be outside the top 10 so far so I assume that's the case you gotta wonder you know if all these guys Bruce Tabani Nathan Diasha um, Bruce Nathan Nick Walker who else missed out on it that uh, had an unfortunate sort of thing happen I can't even remember now but there's quite a few guys that missed this Olympia probably more than average Brett Wilkin of course Brett Wilkin It's uh, unfortunate. There's probably four guys that could have maybe slipped into that top. Which is crazy to have four guys that could be in the top 10 miss out on Olympia. But circumstances happen. Okay, let me feature some different screen captures for you guys. Where would you have Nick Walker if he was there? It's hard to say because we haven't seen him under that lighting. Nick Walker says he would have won. So that's what he said in a video. I might even feature that um, somewhere because I find that interesting, obviously, that he thinks he would have won. He says, oh, I would have won it. I would have won. Very, very confident about it as well. Ian Valier, 
Good point. Ian Valier was going to do this Olympia. That's five guys that could have made the top 10 quite easily. I wouldn't have predicted them all in the top 10 if all of them were competing because it wouldn't have, wouldn't have, you know, that many guys wouldn't go into the top 10 because who am I going to kick out? Crizo, Hunter? Probably not. But maybe. Maybe. Someone said it's a weak error. I completely disagree. It's the fact that we have five guys out and it's still a good Olympia. When does Classic start? Someone asking me. It should start pretty soon. Also, did I feature that? Oh, yeah. And thank you so much, uh, Holacek4075, for the super chat. Also, guys, keep your eyes out. I think tomorrow, the next day, something like that, I'm going to have some desktop bodybuilding merch drop as well. And if you guys want to support in that way, be my guest because there's going to be a whole bunch of it. I'm going to make it look really nice. It's going to be AS Color. Um, brand, uh, not branded, but Ace Color design t-shirts, not designed, Ace Color t-shirts, essentially printed on those. They're really high quality. You can wear them outside the gym, in the gym. We're going to have probably a few different types. I'll bring out probably one each week for the first month or so. And I think you guys will really like them. We're going to be good for training, off the stage, all that good stuff. Shout out, not even a comment, Leonidas. Thank you so much, my man. Super chats everywhere. <laughs> MVP C-Bum won they cancelled classic <laughs> classic finals uh, I, I have C-Bum winning this one pretty convincingly Edward Watkins with another super chat in this lineup Nick wins or places second he always brings a great package to the stage yeah I, okay so where do I have Nick placing if I'm base I might even do a video on this I would have Nick placing Maybe it would have beaten. Maybe it would have been a top three call out with Nick instead of Samson. Maybe, maybe a top four call out. It's tough to say. We need to see him side by side. It's it's impossible to make a call. Derek Lunsford is on stage right now. He's hitting his back shots, looking wild. Wow, back double is crazy. I just missed it. My screen capture. Yeah, the crowd are going wild for Derek Lunsford. He took his time, very smart in that, those back shots. Wow. I missed the crazy shots, but he is highlighting the shape of his physique. And should that be rewarded? I don't think Derek should ever hit the hands together most muscular. Yeah, hands on hips. Hands on hips. I reckon Derek should exclusively hit hands on hips most musculars. And that was sick. That was a sick routine. Even the commentator says, I'll stand. I'll stand. Okay, so if the posing routine mattered in bodybuilding... Let me show you guys some screen captures. Look, this is ridiculous. I'm leaving it too long. Um, I'm seeing some questions here. Wadicles says... Oh my God, your comments are disappearing with so many. Hi, Xavier. Could you repeat who's in which call-out again? Oh, man, that's... <laughs> so top three, it's these guys, obviously. There's a call-out. They did several call-outs. The other call-out, which is the guys behind these guys, it was Hunter, Brandon, Andrew Jacked. Hunter, Brandon, Andrew Jacked. I would have to find them on my computer. I don't want to say for sure because I don't, I don't want to get it wrong. Crizo, I think. And was it Tonio? I can't quite remember. I don't know if Tonio was in that one because they mixed a few of the different callouts around, so it's a bit of ev a bit everywhere, sort of. Charles, the definition Griffin is on stage right now. Now let me share these other ones with you. Sorry, guys, I keep saying, but I'll share these screen captures. But I've got your comments. I've got the show I'm watching. Lots sort of do it once. There is a ton of screen captures to share now. Open. All right, let me share this with you guys. Uh, you just have to see my head for one second. Share screen. And here we go. Shaq Diesel. Hopefully you guys can see that now. And then I will come back and go through this. This is where I was saying Andrew Jacked was literally almost touching it on, on the stage. Absolutely wild. And he came down into these splits with no hands, just coming down like 
It's unbelievable control because if you slip being this lean, you can tear something. I believe Brandon Curry's about to come out. This is Mikel Crizo. Thought he looked really good. This looks good. He just needs to pick this elbow up for starters and not pull these elbows back so far because he closed. See how he's closing off his back? That would look wider if he just pulled it out that way a bit. Crizo. He hit this as well. You can see the thickness of this dude. There's Samson. Brandon looks so cool walking out from the the, the darkness into the light. There's going to be some cool photos with this. He had, I did an interview with him recently, and I featured one of the photos of him walking out last year from Smoke. And um, yeah, it was cool. Brandon looks good. I, I love his physique. Brandon's got a lot of hamstring hang. Phil said shame on these guys on the internet about re reporting Brandon is out of a contest about the rumors online and all that sort of stuff. I know John Bra Bravo made a video. I know Nick Trigg made a video um, saying that Brandon choked on food and things like that. And I spoke to Brandon directly. So that, well, he didn't say that wasn't true directly actually, but he, him and his wife came out and said about so many rumors being started online that aren't true and all that sort of stuff. So Uh, let me find some more captures for you guys. Here's Samson Doubter. So this is what I'm saying. When he walks out and he's just standing there, he's moving. The muscles, you see the 3D-ness of his physique. I'm like, he's a winner. But then you see him hit a few shots and you're like, oh, is it crisp enough? This is still pretty hard. Like this outer quad here is pretty hard. There's just a little bit more to go. Like a little bit more. That's just when he's coming out of the pose too. So don't judge him on that one. So Samson's moving through the poses. Tony Burton, this is what I'm saying, he was dense, but you can't see because there's a smoke and the light's going in front of the, between him and the camera lens and you, you can't really see what's happening. It's more the lights, I think, to be honest, actually. That front lat, let's just appreciate it. Brandon has something this year that I haven't seen from him before. Maybe I've seen it once before. When he hits his most muscular, wow, his front double is wild. It's like he gets leaner and certain poses get better and certain poses maybe aren't quite as good. It's a good look. I think Brandon lost a little bit in the back this year, but he had chest striations, like deep ones. I wish I got a screen capture of it. Hunter Labrada's coming out on stage right now. Here's Regan Grimes. That's Regan, but as you can see, a light, one of the spotlights is going directly through the camera. Derek Lunsford. Look at this. This is Derek Lunsford playing up on his strengths. Perfect X frame. That looks crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Derek there. You can see he's just coming out of front double, which looked crazy impressive. And this is the most muscular that Derek Lunsford should hit. I have no idea why Derek Lunsford hits the hands clasp the most muscular. It makes him look softer. This looks harder overall. I very much like this. He could even hit his legs the way he hit some of these other shots where they flare, flare out more. And Derek Lunsford is pumped up. Very, very good routine. Uh, let's put something else back on the screen. Samson Dowder. Crizzle. I'll have some more screen captures soon, guys, so sit tight. Now, I think after this, what they will do is we won't find out the results of the men straight away. We'll probably go to Classic or Men's Physique or something like that. And I do have coming up as well the HD footage of a lot of this as well. Well, I'm way behind on the comments. Hundreds <laughs> since I last looked. Sorry, guys. They come through quick. I'll try to get to a few of them at once. Oh my God, I can't get through them. Hardy Tubin's coming out on stage now.
When's the classic winner announced? Uh, tough to say. Maybe an hour? Don't know. Might be sooner. They might have a classic on next, but they will have at least top five routines. We've got top 10 routines here, so it's taking a little bit longer. Okay, we've got Hardy on stage right now, so I'm going to focus on him. And when this routine's finished, I will share screen captures and I might just take a quick break. Hardy's like swinging his arms around. They all came out like real epic looking. Hardy comes out swinging his arms really quick. <laughs> I love Hardy. How can you not like Hardy? Sounds like he's got some traditional Iranian music right now. Okay, he's pumped up now. I'm actually really liking the routines this year. And Hardy's waist is very tight this year too. That's another plus on Hardy. I think Hardy wins this. He's come back good tonight. Is it a blowout? No. Do I think Derek or Samson win it next year? Yes. Because I think Samson, for him, maybe now he's got so much muscle, still, he, yeah, sure, he can add in different ways. He can just focus, okay, maybe I smash calories on my body parts, like back days and things like that. And, you know, you use a, the insulin, uh, Habarimia protocols by Bino Sachev. But maybe he does that, but keep it lean year round. Because if you keep it lean a year round, you got to imagine that your body gets used to being leaner. You don't have to do these crazy fill-ups. You don't have to push down as hard on the diet. Maybe that was what would be best for him now. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. All right. We've got more comments. Show us Brandon. Yeah, I will show you Brandon in just a second. I'm just going to wait till Hardy's comes up. Yeah, Adler, I can't, I can't show the live stream. It's, yeah, it's literally illegal. That's why I encourage people to purchase the live stream. The link is in the description below. These guys do a great job. Just going through a couple of the photos for you guys. And like I mentioned before, he should hit the most muscular that way. Okay, let me bring up these new screen captures because they're just they're talking to they're uh, they're talking to Jim Mannion right now. Bob Chikorello is so. Let me bring up these captures now. Bob just asked how close is it tonight, and he says it's very close. I don't know if this is just hyperbole, but he said, do you think it will come down to the pose down tonight? And then he said, I believe so, but they don't judge the pose down as far as I know. So I think that's hyperbole. People saying the Olympia is not worth $75. Think about a UFC card and people say, oh, UFC is so much better, so much more thing, stuff into it or whatever. But they've got obviously a bigger audience, so they can for starters. Also, there were live streams in the year of small pro bodybuilding contests that were more than $75. So I think $75 if you're a hardcore bodybuilding fan for the event of the year where you got three, four days, I think four days of streaming stuff, amateur, everything, even if you don't want the amateur. Yeah, price went up from last year. That's true. I think it was about 60 bucks last year. Inflation, it's about right. <laughs> it's about right. Now let me share these other competitors like Brandon Curry, Hardy Chupin and whatnot. Hopefully I've already opened it. Fingers crossed. Have I? Yes, I have. Okay. Charles, the definition. Griffin here. He was coming out of a pose. That's unfair. Then let's go down. This is when Brandon Curry's coming out. It looked cool on the stream. You just can't see it as much here. I'm just going to turn down the quality of the stream while it's in an ad right now. You can see Brandon Curry there looking next level. I'm going to take a break in just a second for just two minutes as well. I'll just quickly run through a few of these. How cool did Brandon look there? He's walking out real slow and has all these like effects down here coming up. See, I love this look. I think that looks sick. 
I don't know what you guys think, but sometimes I get in this mindset where I'm like, can't this just be Mr. Olympia again? Yeah, here we go. This is from Aloe Black 88 says, the laser lighting and smoke, etc., is God awful in this distracting so much from the athletes. Why do they do it, bro? I know why they do it. They do it because the people going there, they want to create this big, huge uh, excitement, I guess. They want to create this like concert-like atmosphere, which I understand, but we can do it between certain things. You know, the guy's about to come out, lighting everywhere. <laughs> That's what makes sense to me. Who are we got on stage now? We've got the men's physique on stage right now. I'm just going to, in a minute, I'm just going to take a quick little break. Just, I'm just going to take a quick little break right now so we can get the last call out and whatnot of the men's physique. So that's coming right up. Guys, make sure you stay tuned. I'll quickly flip through these photos because I do need to go to the toilet quite badly. Hunter Labrada there. And I'll leave it on some hardy chupin. See that, that light coming through? You guys can see that, all right? That is distracting. It is annoying as a fan. Look at that. Like the light pollution from... For the cameras, which makes it very hard for photographers. So this is affecting the content that comes out later, not just the live stream. The live stream is the bread and butter. Right now there's, oh, what is it, 10,000 or so people watching live stream, which means more probably purchased it, or at least that many. That was Hardy crazy. Yeah, I think Hardy's won it. He's come back very good. Very, very good. But yeah, very, very impressive but uh, anyway guys i'm going to take a quick break thank you so much for the super chat Allo black 88 much appreciated and i'll be back in just a moment with you guys uh, i'll leave this running and uh, actually i've got to put up a little banner before i go back in five or something back in two minutes i'm just gonna put that one up results coming soon back in two minutes uh, anyway guys i'll be back in just a second talk to you all very
What's up, desktopers? I am back. Um, I'll remove that. We have Jeremy Bundia on stage right now. I'll chuck him up on the screen. I'll chuck some of the men's physique guys up on the screen now. The Open will be back. Don't worry. It will be back or up on stage. Go to your comments. Wow, over 200 comments. I'm never going to catch up on them. If you did ask a question, ask it again. What happened? Classic. Classic is coming up soon. Don't worry. It will be next, I assume. Because I've had Bikini. They've had all these other divisions, but... So classic physique should be up soon. I will feature some of the men's physique guys on here now. So Jeremy Bundia is on stage right now. Bundia, Buendia. And he's not going to be a factor to win this, but a great return of a stage. Look at his physique. It's just that everyone is so crazy now. It makes you realize how crazy these guys are because we saw how crazy Jeremy looked in all his videos, his lead up photos and everything. I don't know if he nailed his peaks. He just doesn't look as crisp through that midsection. Brand Hendricks, Hendrickson's coming out now. I'll find him in this video. I don't know where I slotted him in in this one. Here's Brandon Hendrickson. Let me go back to the start of this. Okay. Thinking Andrew gets fourth correct. Boston's that's from. Um... Andrew or Brandon? It's one of those two guys. Someone said, do you think Urs Kalachinski has a chance to win it? Nah, it came down to a final two call out and he was not in that, which means it is Ramon or Seabum 100%. You can't, you, you can't not be in the final two call out and win the contest. This is not going to happen. This isn't finals, right? No, this, this video here is from pre-judging, but the men's physique guys are on stage right now and I will get some screen captures of the rewards. They already did the uh, comparisons. But the lighting wasn't the best for it, so I wasn't too stressed. And I had a quick break, and they just ran them through it really quick. So they've made the decision on men's physique. I think that was literally exclusively for the fans. Vitor Chavez is on stage right now. I don't think there's a video of him. This is Kyron Holden. He's not going to be a factor to win this. Out of the men's physique, the guys who can win this contest is Ryan Terry, who hit, I don't think he's ever been in the top three in this. This guy looks really good too. Uh, I can't quite remember his name off the top of my head. Will Ryan Terry win? Someone asked me. He's beating Brandon Hendrickson from the back. No doubt. And it's a two-shot show. Literally, it's front and back and just the way they present themselves. The back, Ryan Terry wins it. From the front, I'd give Brandon Hendrickson an edge. But are we weighing the back as much as the front? If so, I'd have Ryan Hendrickson. Uh, Ryan Terry. Not a combination of the two. I'd have a combination of the two. I'd have Brandon Hendrickson from the front and Ryan Terry from the back. How about that? This is Ryan Terry. He's always been up there, and I think he looks fantastic. I've always liked his physique. And I think as well, Kyron Holden... He's not up there contending, I think, because now they've said after that Legion, I was like, wow, he's so big. I think for that reason, that's why he's, you know, out of the contention to win this contest because he beat Aaron Banks, the winner from last year, and Aaron Banks appears to be in that top group, but Kyron's not. So, yeah, I think that's why I think they've sort of put something out there and Ryan Terry isn't the biggest guy out there. He has a great back, big back, but he has the legs in the shorts, which I think they like now. Great midsection and abs. Really overall pretty damn balanced. So did I have Aaron Banks in this? Maybe I didn't put his video up. I'm not sure. I thought I put them all in there, but might have only put four in there. Kyron Holden's coming out on stage right now as we speak. Also, answer me a question. I don't know if this works or not. Did you guys get an ad about five minutes ago on the live stream? Let me know in the comments right now. Did you get an advert, like a YouTube ad? Because I've never tried inserting them while live before, and it did. Daniel. Brand has amazing flow, but his legs... Oh, wait, read it off the screen. But his legs look a little smooth. However, they are definitely bigger than last year. Brandon Curry, yes. I was saying Brandon Hendrickson. I was like, why are we talking about his legs so much? 
when do results drop? Results will be dropping soon for some of these divisions, for sure. I think they're about to have the results for men's physique, which means then they'll probably have the classic physique out. Then they will probably have the results for the bikini, the classic physique, and then the open. But they're going through this show. They've made sure that this is not going to run too long. Four divisions, you know? So I like the way they're running the Saturday night now, definitely. Did anyone answer me on if, if they got an advert before? Just say yes or no. <laughs> I think when I've got a million things playing, like the stream. Yes. Okay. Gavin Mason. Thank you. No. If you have YouTube Premium, you'll never get it either. I got an ad about instant mashed potato. <laughs> That's funny. You know what? I never ate instant mashed potato until a few years ago. I ate it. It's pretty good. I got an ad. Okay. Thank you guys so much. It helps fund. If I can chuck a couple in in a four-hour stream, then I think that's that's reasonable. You know, one every half an hour to an hour. All right. We're getting up there in terms of numbers in the stream. 3,762. I'm going to put up another poll. I'm going to open it up right now. Okay. Did open bodybuilding go yet? Yeah, we've had the comparisons uh, and the pros and routines, but we've still got the awards coming out for the open bodybuilding. So stay tuned. And we haven't had classic physique at all. So there's been no classic physique on stage yet. So that is coming up. And I think the Olympia recognize, I think the Olympia should just go ahead and just drop a ton more money into the classic physique, make sure that no one goes and takes over this class, like in another federation or something, because... What they're getting paid is nothing for how popular this is. Uh, view on YouTube. If it gets a little laggy, I apologize. Just remove myself from the stream to reduce the power of what my computer has to do right now. Well, you can still hear me, but you just won't see my face in the bottom corner. Did my stream just go quiet? Did I just exit off the finals? Player error is having trouble. We'll have it back up and running as soon as possible. No! <laughs> is that a player error or is it this? Let me know. Has your stream just dropped out or is this my computer trying to open up a million screens? Oh no, we're back. We're back. The player is working. Almost 4,000. Yes, over 4,000 in the chat. It's all of a sudden just bumped up. So let me play this again. The men's physique who we're seeing on stage right now at the finals of the 2023 Olympia. Jerry Wendia looks next, next level. If you do want to drop a super chat as well, I will feature you in the stream as always. And if you're just joining as well, I did say earlier, I will have some merchandise coming out as well. Desktop bodybuilding merch. And it's not just merch like it says desktop bodybuilding across the front. It's going to be a bit more bit more stylish and I'm going to have gym wear, street wear, all that sort of stuff. It's going to be cool. Trust me. I've got some logos that I've already done. I was going to launch at this Olympia weekend, which would, would have made sense, but nope. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, let me try to find the right ones. Okay. So let's start a new poll. So the results of the last one was 57% of people have Hardy Chupin winning the Mr. Olympia. 29% say Derek Lunsford and 14% say Samson Dowder. And Ryan Terry's on stage right now. Looks phenomenal. Big fan of Ryan Terry. Uh, now let me start a new poll. Let's end that poll. 17,500 votes. Shout out to you guys. 57% Hardy Chupin. You'll see the results there. Okay. I've got to remove that pinned message too. Unpinned message. Now, new poll. I'm going to put a men's physique poll up and then I'll put a classic poll up after. Who is winning the men's physique division? Olympia. Now, it's down to two guys. There's two guys in the middle. Ryan... 
Terry. Brandon Hendrickson. Stop, Paul. Someone said Mbappe wins. <laughs> the the men's physique Olympia. Someone said I'm going to show classic physique. I will be showing some screen captures, yes. And the results and everything like that that comes along with the classic physique. So stay tuned for that. Almost 4,000. Te we're teetering around 4,000. No one cares about the board shorts. As some people do, trust me. The, the viewers went up when this men's physique thing came on the screen. Sam Sulik's winning. <laughs> well, I better just charge one of my other devices before it dies. Intrigued to see how this men's physique one goes. Because from the front, I have Brent Hendrickson. From the back, I have Ryan Terry. So, a little bit split on this one. Okay, so what are you guys saying? 419 votes so far. Oh, it's gone up quick. We have, what time is it in the UK? Because that might negatively affect Ryan Terry. Because it's midday here now. It's probably like, okay, it's, it's a horrible time for UK to watch this finals. 500 votes, 59% say Ryan Terry, 41% say Brandon Hendrickson. So anyone can, can win this one. All right, 1 a.m. in the UK, brutal. Can people stop putting RIP and putting people's names in there to try to get a reaction? If you do, I will block you. People just dropping Sam Sulik's name in there. Yeah, Sam Sulik's winning the, the Men's Physique Olympia. Okay, I saw one of those other RIP things. Catcher, you are getting put in timeout. If I can catch your comment before it, put user in timeout. Ramon number two. 2 a.m. in Spain. Yeah, it's, it's a brutal time for finals for Europe. I mean, I wouldn't care. I'd stay up because I stay up and do the... I think what time does it, do I start in the morning for pre-judging? 1 a.m. or something? Something crazy like that. Okay, they're announcing the awards for men's physique. Diogo Montaneres. Is it Montaneres? He placed, I don't know if it's fifth or sixth, but just announced him as the first award winner at the men's physique Olympia. Diogo Monte, Montenegro. Pause this stream somehow. There we go. We're going again. John Howard winning. Kevin Rudd second. <laughs> Where's that one? You won't understand unless you're Australian. You can answer me. Is John Howard the goat? <laughs> Thank you, Richie. That's uh, that made me smile. Can we have volume? Volume of the show? Nah, there's music playing in the background. It might demonetize the whole thing, and I don't, I don't want that smoke. Phil Heath saying that someone's going to be pissed at this decision because there's so many guys that are close. Aaron Banks. Calm down, someone who said F Brazil. That's not cool. So Aaron Banks, I believe he placed third or fourth. 
I think he plays fourth here. I'll show you who placed... going to get upset who's going to get upset so Ryan Terry and Brandon Hendrickson are walking to the middle one of these guys is going to win the Olympia. Either Brandon Hendrickson is going to regain the Olympia or Ryan Terry is going to win it. This is going to be interesting. The suspense. I think Ryan Terry, I think they're going to give it to him. Ryan Terry, I think he's going to be up on the screen in a second for you guys. We're about to announce it. Ryan Terry wins. This guy has been there for years. We've got Brand Hendrickson on the screen right now. I will go to Ryan Terry. Jeremy Bundes, yeah, he still was up there, but he did not win. Let me find Ryan Terry in this video. I think he might be the last one. Here's Ryan Terry. He's your new men's physique, Mr. Olympia. He's got to feel so good. I think Kyron Holden, he's behind him. I think going into the weekend, he would have thought he was going to win. But these guys are actually, it's cool. I like Kyron. Kyron seems like a cool guy. I think I messaged Kyron and tried to get him on desktop bodybuilding. I'll hit him up again. Guys, hustle him online. Get in contact with uh, these guys. I want to interview Ryan Terry, absolutely, after winning the Olympia as well. Shout out to Ryan Terry. It looks like he just can't believe it. He's so happy. Imagine how he's feeling between, you know, pre-judging and finals. He seems like a good dude as well, so it's like you just want him to do it. That's a cool physique. What did uh, Jeremy Bundia finish? Speak Dow, are you crazy? Can you guys hear me all right? Wow, Terry won. He's been there forever. Yeah, he's, he's one of those guys that has just stayed in the division and developed in the division too. Just gotten a little bit better every time. He's always been there. And I think this is the, this is the new direction. direction, not too big. Not huge. I think the Olympia has made a clear directive here that too big will be penalized. Not that Terry, Terry wouldn't have deserved it in other years, but he just said it only took nine attempts. Ryan Terry, crazy impressive. Deserved the win here. Yeah, that's what he said. He's put a lot into this year trying to improve his back. And that's what I said. The back was the standout. Definitely inspiring for sure. Shout out Ryan Terry. I'll put a few screen captures of him winning up on the screen. He's made some uh, uh, some changes to his posing as well. So the posing, the back improvements, and that's been enough to balance his physique out perfectly and show his physique off perfectly as well. Ryan Terry has placed second before. They said, he said all the places he's placed. He said he's placed ninth, sixth, <laughs> all these different placings. It was like all over the place at the Olympia. And he wins it. Shout out to Ryan Terry. 
So happy for the dude. So that's the first title to go to the UK. Are we going to see another one in Samson Data later on? Will we see it? So there's Ryan Terry. But you can see he's not... I mean, from the side, no one's going to look as big. But you can just see he's not quite as thick as some of these other guys. And I did see a super chat go up. So that's Ryan Terry winning the Men's Physique Olympia. Now I saw a super chat come through. The Canadian dollars. <laughs> from Atheist Nihilist. Thank you. No comment, but thank you very much for the super chat. Much appreciated. Seabum versus Dino. Yeah, that is coming up. Classic physique coming up very, very soon, guys. Very, very soon. So we've got the men's results coming up. We've got the classic physique. We've got the comparisons and the posing routines and the results of the classic physique. We have the results of the bikini coming up. And that's all we'll have left. So we do not have... It's not like it's going to go forever, this contest. So it's going to be a good one. It's going to be very, very interesting. We could get some shock decisions. I mean, if Seabum loses, that's going to be... There is going to be outrage. Uh, that would be crazy. Someone said, uh, Atheist Nihilist needs Jesus, lol. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, get to a few of your comments. Seabum, get that number five. So who do we have now? Do we have the classic on already? Yeah, classic physique Olympia. Take a screen capture of his stage. The stage is wild. Shout out to the Olympia. All right, top 10 finalists. I'll try to go through the names. There's one guy in there. I don't know his name. He looks really damn good though. All right, men's cl classic physique are on stage right now. Let me put up some of their pre-judging HD 8K Footage. Did Open go? Yes. Yes. Open has been on stage, but they have the results coming up. First call out. Oh, no. Well, it's the first call out of the finals. I'm trying to figure out who the guy is that they've got in this top 10, but I don't know his name. I know all the names of the other guys. Can someone help me out? Number three. Looks like he lost his number because it looks like it's a written on number three. Uh, let me look up Life V Pro and see if I can f find him if he's number three on the competitors list. Or someone help me out in the comments. Who is that? Not on the screen right now. It's obviously C Bum. But if you're watching the live stream, there's Ramon Dino. Obviously, top two guy here. Yeah, they're saying Classic is last. Well, Classic, all the other divisions have been on. They might announce Classic last. So this first call-out is not like the top group of guys. It's the guys just behind them. Jay Hun Park is in this call-out. Wesley Visses, Michael DeBull, Terence Ruffin, Mike Summerfeld. Let me look at the competitors list for Mr. Olympia. Where is that competitors list going on my IFB Pro website? Here it is. All right, so I believe the men's physique competitor, because he got number three, is Anderson Aruda from Brazil. Let me know if that's right, the guy in the top 10. And yeah, Brasuda. What's his name again? Let me say it again. Anderson Aruda. 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 Shout out to you guys. Classic Physique is on stage right now. That's Urus Kal Kalasinski you're seeing, obviously, right now. Urus. All right. I'll have a couple of screen captures for you of the second group. Now, Terrence Ruffin's in there. That makes me think, okay, we have a top three call-out. We have Breon Ansley, 
No, top four call out, sorry. Breon, he has pulled ahead of Terence Ruffin. Breon, Urs, Ramon, and Seabum. So we're going to have Ramon and Seabum in the middle. This is really people saying that, oh, Breon shouldn't have, Breon shouldn't have uh, gone to Classic or stayed in Classic. He should have gone to 212. I think he's going to do a lot better in Classic than 212. I heard a few people say this, and I thought it was ridiculous. I think Sean Ray said it. Ridiculous. Ridiculous statement. Because you can see his legs aren't big enough. It's not that he's just sucked down, because he's had more weight this year. He would not do well in 212, in my opinion. At over 40 years old, trying to add that muscle. Oh, Dino looks good in the front double. The crowd's going crazy. Dino, it might be better tonight. I'm going to have these screen captures coming up for you guys. Oh, this is exciting. Side chest, you can see it's C-bum. I, honestly, I had I had Ramon on that front double. Just There's only waist up that I could see as well. So, Oh, back double is good on Ramon when he first hit it. C-bum and Ramon elbowing. Elbows hitting. Guys, I love this stuff. Bruce looks good on this one. Ab and thigh. Oh, Seabum's moved his legs open and standing straight. That looks boss and hitting a vacuum. Favorite classic pose. Who's got this one? Breon's is always good. Urz is killer. Seabum's is great. I think this is where Ramon loses it a little bit sometimes. Oh, Ramon actually is hitting that a lot better now. Okay. Oh, Ramon's hitting some different classic poses. Wow. It's hard to judge for favorite classic pose, but... Okay, I'm going to show you guys some screen captures. Wow, that was fun. That was really cool. It's clear top two. Dino's up there, and Dino looked better at finals, which makes it more exciting. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to have a top five routine, so we'll find out the top five before anything else. Who have you guys got in the top five? It's going to be Seabum. It's going to be those four guys. Who's the fifth guy? That <laughs> I hope it's Terrence Ruff. And if we miss out on his routine by one place again this year, I'm going to be annoyed. I called for top 10 routines of the Classic Physique last year because they're so good. I reckon let every Classic guy do a routine, 35 guys, but have the other guys do it at the Expo. Put on a big exhibition. I think I'm sure the people at the expo would love to see it. Put it in the middle of the expo so it's like a 360 standing around. It's a you're like a standing on a I don't know, standing on a something in the middle of it where it's rotating around and you can have a whole ton of people have it in the middle of the expo. That'd be cool. Like who wouldn't love to see that? Flash their names up, have like a L L C D L L C D? L E D screen? Whatever. Um just around them or something like that. I think that would be cool. I'm praying I get to see Terence's routine. I'll be upset if we don't see Terence's routine. I'll share these screen captures in just a second. They're just loading up. Dave Batista coming on stage now. Having a little break, I think, before they get to... <clears throat> sorry guys <clears throat> sorry I just had to clear my throat a little break before they uh, get to the routines of the classic physique I think that's what they have, they'll have. they have next or they'll have some bikini results and then the classic physique routines and then the results of the open coming up all very very soon now let me pull up these photos What's the movies that Dave Bautista is, is, is in with Groot? What's it called? Can we go to say The Avengers? I know it's not that. But Dave Bautista, I, I watched that and I was like, ah, oh, bigger fan of Dave Bautista now. Over 5,000 of you in the chat right now. We just broke that for this stream. Shout out to you guys. Let me share screen. 
Okay, so here's the stage. You guys should be able to see it any second now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Dave Batista's talking about having four films coming out next year and he's grinding and kind of four films coming out in a year. Thank you for the super chat. I can't feature that on the screen right now just because I don't want to get demonetized, but you know who you are. Uh, Muhammad, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to you, my man. <clears throat> I can't get into anything political on these streams. It just doesn't. It doesn't work for the, for the, for the not for the algorithm, for the um, monetization times. So I don't lose all my money from this stream. All my money. I like it so much. <laughs> the dinosaurs are coming out. All right, let me show you the rest of these photos. I've kept you in suspense long enough. So this is the second group of guys outside of the top four. So we've got Michael DeBull or Terence Ruffin that we'll see the routine from because they've got them in the middle. I believe so, at least anyway. So this is going to be... So we've got the top four. Fifth or sixth here. Seventh and eighth will be Wesley Visses and Mike Summerfeld. And then ninth and tenth will be these two guys. It will be Jay Hun Park and... Jay Hun Park and Anderson Aruda from Brazil. Brazil are killing it in classic physique. This guy, Anderson Aruda has a great physique. Great physique. Really breaking him there. Shocking a lot of people. Okay, we've got the top five classic physique routines now. Look at Wesley Visser's there. That, that's tiny waist. Jay Hun Park, look how impressive that is. Michael DeBall came in shredded. Terrence Ruffin. But now let's get to the top group of guys. Seabum, Ramon, Breon, and Urus, Miracle Bear. Urus looks like he's having fun. Look at him. It might be blurry. Hey guys, I'm uh, uh, just over here. Why don't you put me in the middle? I can't do Urus impersonation. Look at this. The cr when they zoomed in on this in the crowd, the crowd went ballistic because it looks closer. So the crowd are hyped up about this. Torna Barros. Now, everyone's saying the Brazilian women in this chat are bots. <laughs> to let me know. Are you a bot? Because there's so many women that are in watching the men's and I only have like 2 point something percent women viewership on here. As you guys can see. Very strange that I have so many. So look at this. Let me know. Do you think they're bots? <laughs> or let me know yourself if you do speak English. Because a lot of them are just Dino and dinosaurs. American woman. Ramon wins. Seabum winner. Yeah, let me know who you have winning this one. That's a more important thing. Let me change this poll. Okay, I'll get some screen captures of Breon too. Wow, Breon's back is crazy. And I'll go through some more of these photos too in a minute. Breon looks better tonight, I'd almost say. Breon did a lot of talking at the press conference, but it looks like it was more than warranted. I think Breon should stay competing in classic physique. If you can be a top four guy in the world, why not? People are like, oh, he should retire. What, because he's... You can be top four at world. People do amateur comps for plastic trophies. This guy's actually winning money. Looks great. Like, what do you guys want from him? <laughs> Why do you want him? I think it's because he might not have the potential to improve as much as other guys, so it's less exciting in some ways. Okay, I'm going to have some screen captures of that coming up very, very soon. I'm going to wait for these guys to go through their routines. I'll show you a few more screen captures and then I'll change the poll. Doing a lot. Doing a lot here. 
Uruz is coming on stage right now. He's happy about it. Hey, what's up, guys? Side chest, C-bum. Like, front door bicep, everyone went nuts. I mean, everyone calmed down a little bit when they saw this because C-bum's crazy. Don't discredit Brown here. He's third in that, in that pose. Back double bicep. Ramon, when he first hit it, looked really impressive. So when it panned across, it didn't look as impressive when I took this screen cap capture. He looked really good here. I think Ramon is better tonight. I think Urz is better tonight as well. Breon, probably. I'd say C-Bum's about the same, which is phenomenal, obviously. This was pretty good from Ramon. I was happy with this. Look how small that waist is. And yeah, so who do you guys have winning? I will put up a poll now. I'll just quickly get some screen captures of Urz. I love Urz posing. <laughs> He's so cool. He has it so epic, and then he just the music sort of stops for a second. And he just looks at the crowd. It's like, how cool is Or Seriously. He is the coolest. When will it be announced? It's going to be announced, I'd say, straight after these posing routines. So stay tuned, guys. This is so cool what Urz is doing his routine now. So Urz, just on stage just then. This is the coolest routine. This is the best routine that Urz has done. He's doing the Terminator too. That was so cool. This is why they should judge the routines. Because Urz Kalachinsky just put on a performance. So what he just did then, it just started going dun 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 like a ringtone. Then he goes, huh, picks it up on his wrist like it's a phone, but then he's holding it like this to his face. And he goes, he goes, hello? And it was Jay Cutler's voice. And it was Urz's voice. And he's also like, Hey, Urs, something, something, something. And then he's like, oh, I'm just on the Olympia stage now. And then he goes, Boo. and then he goes, game over and does a whole thing. It was cool. Ramon's doing a thing where he's going, doom, doom, and he's stepping on it. So it's funny that, oh, he's got dinosaurs. Music is cool. These guys put so much effort into their routines. It makes the show better. Why don't we judge it? Give them a little bit of credit for what they're doing, you know? If, if someone has a bad physique and they do have a good posing routine, I don't think it should jump you ahead of, like, everyone or anything like that, even if you have the best posing routine. It should be part and part with physique, entertainment, and entertainment can be just a very classic, beautiful posing routine. It doesn't have to be doing the robot or anything like that. Yeah, Ramon looks good. I'm going to have some screen captures coming up of him, so stay tuned. Get your dinosaurs ready. This is the best Ramon, for sure. 110%. Yeah, Ramon's looking good. Oops, I just paused the stream. Okay, so we're going to see some screen captures coming up soon. C-Bum goes on stage. Yeah, Ramon looks really, really, really good. I'll just run through these pictures. I'll chuck up another one while we're talking. Okay, so Terence Ruffin is going to be in fifth. We've already got that announced pretty much because he is in the top five. He was not in the final four. Call out Terence Ruffin is fifth 100%. If that is not the case, I'll be shocked. Shocked. But I'm very glad he made top five so we can see his routine. Which means that would be putting who in sixth? So Terrence Ruffin and who else was in the middle? I'm trying to remember now. Ruffin, 
Ruffin always has great routines. All right, let me tend to these polls on desktop bodybuilding. Who won? It's not been announced just yet. It will be announced very soon for the Classic Physique, so... All right. Okay, so 69% of you had Ryan Terry winning, 31% Brandon Hendrickson, so there should be no controversy there, although there often is. And let's put up a new poll for you guys. Who do you have winning the classic physique Olympia? Do you have... Chris Bumstead, C-Bum. Do you have Ramon Dino? I'm going to put a dinosaur in there. Uh, or Urs Kalachinsky. And I'll put a bear in there as well. <laughs> I'm a child. Okay, and add option, I'll put Brown Ansley in there too. It's funny how these guys all have, uh, well, he's known as the Black Swans. And, or is that, I can't remember if Brown Ansley's known as the Black Swan or if that's, oh, well, I'm, put, I'm putting a swan in there anyway. Okay, so polls up. Who do you have winning the classic physique, Mr. Olympia? You should be able to see it now. Get your votes in. I want to get an early assessment of who you guys have or how many people are fans, at least, of these people in the chat as well. So we have, wow, almost 1,000 votes already. Shout out to you guys. Get in the comments. Get liking the video if you haven't liked it yet. It's much appreciated. So early votes. We've got over 1,200, about to hit 1,300, probably more already. We have 55%, just over half, saying C-Bum. 39% saying Ramon Dino. Shout out to you Brazilian fans in the comments right now. 6% Urs Kalachinski. Brion Ansley, 1%. So, seems about right. But I would have more percentage on C-Bum just because I have him winning pretty clearly here. But pff, Ramon was better at finals. It's actually evening out more now. 52 C-Bum percent. 51% C-Bum. 43% Ramon Dino. 5% errors. C-Bum is about to come out. C-Bum. Okay, so if C-Bum just about to come out on stage, I will feature some screen captures of these guys once they've been on. <clears throat> Let me catch this. And you just know already how many photographers are taking photos right now. Of see, but I'm walking out from the shadows there. See, but is so iconic. He's just, yeah. See, bum five times, some people are saying. I will show you the screenshot soon. Don't worry, guys. Just gotta wait for him to load up. And also, an interesting stat for you guys, watching the live stream. Actually, it just went off the screen. Oh, no, here we go. <clears throat> There's 9.4K watching the live stream right now, which you'd have to assume well over 10K purchased this because you've got the amateur as well and people would be purchasing for that and just not logged on watching it right now. So I'm hoping they sold about 15K on this stream, 15K times by 75. We'll just say 12. 12,000 times by 75 US dollars. $900,000. Yeah. Thought it might have even been more. That's why they've got to charge these prices because they have to, you know. 900000 sounds like a lot, but when you're putting on the Olympia, it's really not. Phil Heath saying he's proving now, C-Bum's proving now that he is the standard. And I think he is too. I think he can go for more years.
Steve Bem just hit his back double bicep very unaligned. Rear lat spread. You don't see that too much from classic competitors. And Seabum doesn't have perfectly symmetrical quads, but it doesn't seem to matter. His left is definitely bigger than his right. I wonder if Seabum's left-handed. Wow. Yep. I wonder as well. Stay tuned because Seabum is going to... He did a video saying that I think we're just gonna have a quick little break as well so I'm just gonna quickly uh, run a commercial an ad break and see if you guys actually see the ad so give me your feedback in the comments if you do see a quick ad gotta find out where to put it let me know if you see it just help support the channel and let me know if you're uh, if you have YouTube Premium and you're not seeing an ad right now. Say, uh, Premium Gang, Premium Gang in the chat if you have YouTube Premium. Check the poll. Yeah, I will check the poll. Okay, in the poll right now, we have over five thousand votes. Wow, it's almost even. Forty-eight percent have Steve I'm winning. Forty-seven percent have Ramon Dino winning. Four percent have Urs Kalachinski. And 1% have Breon Ansley. Premium Gang, MVP. Shout out. Premium Gang. Wow, they're coming in quick. Premium Gang. Yeah, Premium's the best, isn't it? <laughs> Some people said ad blocker gang. Got the ad. Thank you for watching it. It uh, it helps. Ad blocker gang. <laughs> Premium Gang. Premium's good, though. You can download the videos, put them on your phone. I've got Pose down now for Classic Physique. This is cool. Cool top five, for sure. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to put up some individual screen captures of these guys. Just give me a second. Got quite a few to open up. Bunch of Seabum, Ramon, Terence Ruffin, Urs Kalachinski, all the guys. Breon Ansley. Premium gang. Sure you want to open 26 items? Yes. Of course, I'm sure. All right, let me share it. Stop screen. They need to start giving these guys more money as well. They're accepting it for now, but if this goes on, the popularity of this division. Flex Wheeler has Ramon Dino winning. What do you guys think about that? Could Ramon win it? And would Seabum retire? Or could Seabum retire after his fifth win? Because he said he's not going to go 7, 8, or 9 or anything like that. So that would mean he's retiring after this Olympia or next. Seabum, my dad. <laughs> Look at this. Really hard. We're about to announce for winners, guys. Brian Ansley. Urs. Great routine. Urs was better at finals. There's Ramon Dino. This pose looks great on Ramon, seriously. We're about to announce fifth, which will be Terence Ruffin. There's Ramon again. Ramon. He's just coming out of that. And he is, he is the man, Seabum. So when I look at C Bum, I'm like, I can't see him losing. So six thousand dollars for sixth, a fifth, sixth, fifth, which is too not enough. Six thousand dollars for fifth in the classic physique, which is easily, if not the most popular, the second most popular division. I understand what puts bums on the seats is open, but classic does a bit now as well, and for the actual people watching the stream, I'd say more are watching it for classic. Believe it or not. 
Sabum. Look, he looks crazy. I think Sabum improved tonight too. Terence Ruffin in fifth place. We're running this very efficiently tonight. We're two hours in and we've got results for... Okay, we're about to announce fourth, guys. Do you guys know Chef Rush? He's announcing fourth place. Sponsored by Muscle Tech too, who supports desktop bodybuilding. Breon Ansley in fourth place. So Breon Ansley in fourth, which will put Urs Kalachinski in third. That's pretty predictable, but we're going to wait for the top two. <clears throat> Someone said type one for C-Bum. A few ones coming up. Type two for Ramon. I'll just say C-Bum or Ramon. I think it's good for the algorithm. C-Bum or just drop your dinosaurs. Say Ramon. R-A-M-O-N. I don't know if these dinosaurs help the algorithm. Urs will be second, for sure. A third. Third. <clears throat> so let me go through these photos a little bit. Third will be Urs. Yep, the Miracle Bear. Urs Kalachinski in third place. Breon was in fourth. He looked phenomenal. Okay, we've got the big decision coming up. Who is going to win at the Classic Physique Olympia? Let me check the poll. Let's see if Ramon has taken over. No, just under 9,000 votes. 1% extra have C-Bum winning. Come on, Ramon fans. If you haven't voted yet, you, you surely you've voted by now. Someone said C-Bum. S-E-Bum. It's for the letter C, but that's fine. C-Bum, C-Bum. Dino win and still... 48%, okay. Getting hundreds of votes in and the, the percentages just aren't even changing anymore because there's so many votes. 48% Seabum, 47% Ramon Dino, 4% Urs Kalachinski, and 1% Breon Ansley. I always just want to see it 47 to 47% or 48 to 48%. Who do we have coming up? Let's see who we've got, guys. Do we have Seabum? Do we have Ramon? That's not Ramon. That's Urus. Ramon Dino. Ramon and Dino coming out to the center square. Do you know what I love about this? I like... All these guys, personality-wise and, and as humans. <laughs> Ramon just... Oh, that's funny. They went out to the center stage. And on the center square, Ramon just pointed for Seabum to go to the opposite side. And then he said, nah, nah. And then he put Seabum in the middle. I think he knows. Standing there, though. You'll see there. Who's it going to be? Seabum or Ramon? About to announce it. And new or still? Five-time Olympia champion, Chris Bumstead wins again. That was the right decision in my opinion. I'll put up the video of Seabum. Shout out Mr. Olympia five times. Now we're going to hear the speech. Will Chris Bumstead actually retire? Let me know in the comments. Team retire or team six? Six Olympias. Let me uh, put up a new poll. So 49% of you had C-Bum in the end. I think everyone swayed once he was announced for the winner. End that poll. 
Let's start a new poll. Will Seabum retire over 10,000 votes in that one? Shout out to you guys. Start a poll. You got to get in and quick on this one too because he's going to have his speech soon. Will Seabum retire? Yes or no, start poll. Boom. Oh, I'm getting a bit of lag on the stream. Not good. Just turn down. Oh, no, we've got 720p. It's not too high. All right. See, but I'm taking some breaths. He's got his eyes closed. He's got his head down. Is this a retirement look on Seabum right now? Because <clears throat> what does six do that five doesn't do for Seabum? Because the only person that has six is Dorian Yates. And I don't think that'd be his goal to be like, I want to tie Dorian. You know, it's not, it's not something like that. It's like, do I just put another one in? Do another Olympia? Just to make it, you know, put your name in history even more so in terms of like, it's going to be harder for anyone to beat him now. You know, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's hear this. Oops, I just... Seabum had some drama during his prep, so... He says this one is extra special when he said people close to him know. So what he, what he went through. I think I'm about 20 seconds behind on the stream right now. I, I just have a feeling Seabum's not going to retire here. 47% of you saying yes, he will retire. 53% saying no. Okay, Seabum just came out and he said he tore his lat. So Seabum tore his lat. Let's try to find some photos and have a look at that. Torn lat. Let me see if I've got any photos of Seabum's back where we can see this. Okay, I can see it. It's his right lat. But you can't see it in his back double, I think. All right, let me open it up. So yeah, he did have a torn body part, but it was not the actual... So let me look at that time and I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Just gonna reshare my screen. All right, one second, guys. Share screen. Oh, it's just stopped playing for me. Okay. Share this. <clears throat> Let me show you. Torn lat, if you're just joining for C-bum. Now, I said he was hitting his back double bicep weird. So he's pulling this elbow up higher, I think, to offset it, to make this pop out. Because I think this is where the injury actually was. Because when you look here, let's zoom in. See how that comes in there? He might have been just coming out of a shot, but I'm guessing it's his right lat there. see anything here all right they're asking him now he's going to retire oh bob saying there's no questions about the future
So Seabum did not retire on stage. But Bob made a point to say he's not going to ask any questions about it. So does this mean that Seabum will retire? So Seabum has a torn lat. So of course they don't want Seabum to retire. No way. Maybe that's why they're not asking him. What place is Urus? Urus placed in third at this contest. Shout out to Chris Bumstead. Winning the classic physique Olympia. Why do people want him to retire so badly? Fernando uh, asks. Because he's won five. And I love him. I hope he doesn't retire, to be honest. I, I love Sebum. I think he's awesome. He's Honestly, if I'm just sitting from a fan perspective, he's my favorite. I mean, I go, why is he so popular? Well, he's my favorite. <laughs> Look at why I like him. You know, he's, he's, he seems like a nice guy. Great physique. You know, very open and honest, which is always respectable and you can respect that. But Torn Lat, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, before I go to these other divisions here, I am going to run a quick ad. And then if you're in uh, the premium gang, you will not get it. I'm just going to run it. It will, I don't know, it'll go for like 15 seconds or something. So, And if you're still hearing me, you've either got a blocker on <laughs> or you're in the premium gang. They judged it very fairly. Yeah, I think it was a fairly judged um, classic physique Olympia. Whoa. So had some trippy sound going on on the stream just there. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. That was crazy. Uh, disconnect my headphones from that one and I'll put them back onto this computer. And well, uh, what about Wesley Visses? They only gave the top five placings. So he would have been, I believe, seventh or eighth uh, according to the call out. So I'll put up Chris Bumstead's routine up on the screen. Well, not his routine, his uh, his individual posing from the pre-judging. And we can have a look in a video at the torn lat situation. You can't see it from the front there at all. It mustn't have been a very bad tear. But this gave the opportunity to see Bum to actually be, you know, out of this year's Olympia. People said you don't have to do it. So, yeah, that's crazy. He's had some personal issues as well. So it's personal issues plus a torn lat. Crazy. Now let's look. This is... Can you see a torn lat there? I cannot see a torn lat. Now there. Is there anything? You really can't see it. He's actually not hitting his backdoor bicep too weird here. There might be a slight something there on the right hand side. Maybe, but you really can't notice it. Seabum's had lots of tears. He tore his bicep last year, tore his lat this year. He might be a guy that's just, I don't know, just more prone to that sort of stuff. Yeah, really not noticeable, but it would have made his prep definitely harder, for sure. 100%. Shout out to Seabum for pushing through and uh, not letting it keep him out of a contest because I think a lot of people, they probably would, but obviously being Mr. Olympia, you don't want to give it up for a year, someone else wins, and then they're the favorite for the year following. You definitely don't want to do that. So I understand why Seabun pushed through and it held Ramon Dino out from winning the Classic Physique Olympia. And I think next year, Ramon Dino is going to come back once again with that extra weight. He might get his weight up a little bit more and come back uh, crazier. So we'll have to wait and see for that. So Seabun did not retire. So let's get rid of that poll. And uh, yeah, no polls for right now, but I might put another one up soon. We'll see. Yeah, Chris Bumstead did confirm his lat is torn. So, torn lat. Doesn't matter to Seabum. Seabum don't care. He's like, it's torn lat. No worries. So, Seabum, Chris Bumstead wins the 2023 Mr. Olympia. And that's Ramon Dino, who plays second. We had Urs Kalachinski in third. We had Breon Ansley in fourth. And we had Terence Ruffin in fifth. I've got to get this stream going back up again in case I miss anything. Let me get this going. Just dropped out for a second. I've got to make sure my headphones are connected so you don't get it blasting 
and uh, messes up everything. Uh, just connect them. So at least I can hear what's going on so I don't have to have it open all the time. We're connected. Let me refresh that. And if we're in a break right now, I'll take a quick little break, but if not, I will continue on. Okay, we've got the bikini on now. I'm going to take a quick little break. I'll just put the bikini on the screen. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, I'll put the bikini on the screen for now because that's the division that's on stage. And I'll put a banner on and I'll take a quick two-minute break and I'll be back, guys. And we'll be back with the open bodybuilding results. We've got the bikini quickly results and then we will have the open men. And it will just be pose down and results for the men. It's pretty crazy they make the men wait, though, the whole show to come back out for results. And the pose down, I think it's like they got to hold their physique for that long. I mean, it doesn't matter in the judging, but you still want to look good. So, hmm, I don't know. Um, so, I'll be back in about three, uh, let's say about three to four minutes. I'll be back. So, let me just, let me just edit this. Open Mr. Olympia. Results coming soon. Back in, let's put three minutes because some people will be joining this and won't see it. So if I put five minutes, I might just jump off. Let's go. So open Mr. Olympia results coming soon. Back in three minutes. Thank you guys so much and continue to watch. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys very
What's up, desktopers? We are back. And we have the open men's results coming up very soon. We have the bikini results first, but we will have the men's just after that. We'll have the pose down of the men's open bodybuilding. Then we will have the results. So make sure you stay tuned here to desktop bodybuilding. We'll be back very, very soon with the results. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to put up a poll. Is my audio bad? Hold up, guys. Okay, guys, is it better audio? Were people just lying to me about the audio? <clears throat> Was the audio bad at all? Just let me know, because I've got on another audio setting, which I don't think is quite as crisp, but let me know. Let me know, everyone. Is your audio good? Is it loyal? Okay, cool. I'm going to leave it how it is for now. Thank you very much, Sam. And everyone else that let me know, which is not very many. <laughs> there is no audio. Don't do that to me. Audio good, yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> X, did you drop a juice? No, I didn't. A deuce. I um I scheduled my finals results of Mr. Olympia. So that's why you got to subscribe to Desktop Bodybuilding and click the notification bell button. Because when I go live after this, I'm going to have all the results hd footage discussing it and let me know who you want me to ask to come on i might message beef stew see if i can get stuart sutherland on here <clears throat> okay i'm looking up beef stew i should probably look up stuart sutherland so i'm asking him does he want to jump on the live results show All right, so I've asked Stu Sutherland, so hopefully he can jump in at some stage. I'm trying to think who else isn't at the Olympia right now. Should I ask Nathan Diasha? That's a surefire way to get uh, banned, but we'll see. Uh, So just ask Nathan Diasha. We'll see if he wants to jump in. Is there anyone else? Let me know. So I'll have the bikini results soon, and then I'll have the men. Now let me show you the men who we have coming up very, very soon. And then I'll scoot back to the bikini as they do the results. But I want to show you guys the Gilco Productions. I put side by side Samson down. I did a separate video on this too. So if you want to watch it and come back in 10 minutes, you are more than welcome to do it. I break it down and go pose for pose with all these guys. Samson Dowder, Derek Lunsford, and Hardy Chupin. And break it down. Gilco Productions right here. And then I've got, I've got a few photos from RX Muscle and Kaz Photography. Okay, we've got top five bikini awards just about to announce. I'll let this video run out and then I'll pop that one at the bikini back up on. Let me know who you have winning bikini. I haven't followed it as much this year because I've been doing so much. So it's good now. My audio is good now. I want to see if I've missed any super chats because I like to feature everyone. I haven't had a super chat in ages. Don't feel loved. No, I've had a, a lot of Super Chats over the weekend. Shout out to you guys who have done that. It's much appreciated. It supports the channel. Put a couple little ads in there as well. A few sneaky ads. So Issa Pacini is fifth. She gets $6,000. That is the same as the classic physique. How do you feel about that based on the popularity and how much money the classic would bring versus the bikini. The bikini is obviously great. Don't get me wrong. I don't think they should pay the bikini less. Just maybe, um, I don't know. I just think that the classic, more than anything, should be more. 
because I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see it. I can't remember how much of a winner of a classic physique got. I don't know if they announced it, but the Arnold, I believe, last year was more than the Mr. Olympia prize money. About to announce fourth place. Maureen Blanquisco is a muscle tech athlete as well who sponsored this channel. Let me pop up the bikini on the screen right here. Then we're going to have men's open results straight after this. So let me put a banner up saying that. So let's go. Laura Legipardos places fourth, who's on the screen right now, as you guys can see. Men's Open Mr. Olympia results in minutes. Results coming up very soon. Hold tight. Okay, that one's done. Let me put that across the bottom of the screen. Save and show. Third place in the bikini coming right up. Let me know who you think will be third. Ashley Colt Wasser places third. Who's on the screen right now? That worked out so perfectly. <laughs> I didn't even try to do that. Did not even try. Uh, someone gave their opinion on bikini here. Oh, missing. Can we go to click on it? But it... Maria Diaz. Is it going to come up on the screen? Where can I see bikini? I think first Maureen, Jen, Ashley, Issa, Laura Lee. So it went... Issa was in fifth, Laura Lee was in fourth, Ashley was in third, and then we've got Maureen and Jen in the top two. Okay, so results coming up for Bikini. That's Issa Bikini on the screen who came fifth. Oh, look at that, that's an insane physique. Just about Hardy. It's so funny. Some people are like Hardy's the best, and then someone's like Hardy sucks. <laughs> it's so funny. Someone's saying Derek won. We're not up to that yet. Calm down. Bikini results are up now. So it's Jen Dory or Marine Blanquisco. Maureen brought a softer, slight, I'd say slightly softer look in this year. And Jen's slightly harder. I don't know who wins. Do they go for a little bit softer look? It depends what they want. So the winner is... Jen... Jennifer Dory wins. Bob Jura messed up that announcement and he said a new Bikini Olympia champion, Je Jennifer Dory, forgetting that she's actually won the Olympia in the past. Did Jen win it last year or a couple of years prior? I think it was a couple of years ago. So very, very cool. Shout out to Jen Dory. Maureen Blanquisco, obviously a muscle tech athlete who you can see on the screen right here. And this is our winner right now that you guys can see on the screen there. Jennifer Dory wins the contest. So first, Jennifer Dory. Second, Maureen Blanquisco. Third was Ashley Coltwasser. Fourth was, why am I blanking now on fourth? Ah, uh, Issa Pacini was fifth, and fourth was. <laughs> oh my god, I've had a mind blank. Oh, of course. Um, her name's escaped me. Uh, Laura Legipados. I haven't had a lot of sleep this weekend, so blame it on that. Jennifer Dory won this, so we have the men's open coming up straight after this, coming up very, very soon, as it says across the bottom of the screen. So Jennifer Dory wins again. These all these girls are so close. Like they all look phenomenal. They would wipe any amateur show on the planet 
hands down. Like they're actually crazy. Like when you see these girls in pe- person too, guys and girls, you get to really appreciate how good they are at their craft. Like they just, you're like, wow, to have that level of confidence and it's something that you can only sort of see when you're there in person. It was like with figure back in the day. I remember Nicole Wilkins and Aaron Stern. I was like, why are they top two? We're all so close. And those two walk out and you're like, in person, you're like, ah, they've got that stage presence, you know, which is something it's hard to explain. So my face is getting very laggy on this stream. I'm going to put myself down at the bottom. So if it pauses you at least, and I'm not talking for a second, you at least know it hasn't frozen the stream. So. Where's Jendori? There's Jendori. Jendori seems like a good person. Just listen to Jendori's speech. As the winner, we've only got the results of one division coming up, and it's men's open bodybuilding. And we will find out our 2023 Mr. Olympia. Is it Hardy Chupin? Is it Samson Dowder? Is it Derek Lunsford? Let me know in the comments. The consensus seems to be that Hardy Chupin, <clears throat> sorry guys, the consensus is that Hardy Chupin will win this, but we do not know. And I'm not locking that in because it wasn't like it was a top two call out. Who won classic? Seabum. Seabum won it, and he had a torn lat. Dorian Yates won the open. Yes, he did in the 90s. Do you guys know what I've got in this muscle tech shaker here? Stainless steel muscle tech shaker. Cell tech, but not the high carb one. The uh, creatine one, flavored, very tasty. Okay, so let's open up this comparison of our top three Mr. Olympia. HD footage. Or I'll remove myself from there for one second. Jen Dory brought up the N new. <laughs> so Bob 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 confused him because there's two former bikini Olympia champions up on stage and he said and knew so confused a lot of people who do you guys have i'm going to put up a poll because it's what i do oh first super chat in some time oh i'm trying to feature it but there's so many comments coming in from brandon hitting the front lat spread too that's one way to get yourself featured uh, on a stream that's got like four hundred thousand views all up that will be viewed after this and has like five thousand here Think there will be another round of posing. Steve said it will be decided in the pose down. Might mean more comparisons. <clears throat> I don't think so because I don't know. Maybe they do. I sort of hope they do, to be honest. Just to go to a pose down, it's like there's nothing else being judged. And it's just awards, and we have to wait that long for that. Do some more comparisons. Still another round. Thank you very much, Brandon. Shout out. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. And nice front lat spread too. Okay, so the results are coming up very soon for the open men's bodybuilding. Stay tuned. The results will be here very, very soon. They're just doing a little bit of talking before they have the men, the open men come out. All the other divisions, we've got the results for all of them. So... We are just waiting for the open men's results and pose down. So if you're going to bring out the top 10 for Mr. Olympia. Hopefully they announce the top 10. That's what I want to see. I want to see the top 10 announced. And I, I want to see my predictions get up as well. If you guys want to know my predictions, they will be incredibly close. I'm going to tick them off as I as I go through it. Uh, where's my predictions? I'm trying to find my predictions now. I 
Okay, so they said they don't require any further comparisons. So they have decided, which leads me to think it might more likely be Hardy Chupin. I don't know. I can see myself frozen in the bottom corner of the screen. As long as you guys can hear my voice, then we're good. We are good. Oh, Super Chat. Super Chat. Is it a bad idea to have a... Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a, a, a small person, let's say, a little person. Isn't it a bad idea to have a small person at the Mr. Olympia? It might... Uh, it seems isn't being marked down as a structural flaw. Isn't it a bad idea going forward? <laughs> Midget Mr. Olympias. I don't know what you're on about, man. Thank you for the super chat. But, I mean, think about it. You had Lee Priest back in the day who's shorter than all these guys. You had... A whole bunch of guys. I, I think it's fine. I mean, as long as you, I mean, as long as you don't get overwhelmed, then I think it's. Well, it's like a really loud noise outside. As long as you don't get overwhelmed, then for me, it's fine. I don't think it matters unless you're like Sean Clarita height. I don't think someone who's Sean Clarita height should be able to essentially have the ability to win Mr. Olympia unless you are something <laughs> completely insane. Sean Roden, uh, Sean Clarita might be top ten, but that sort of height, that's different though. That's you know, Derek Lunsford looks tall next to Sean Clarita. All right, pose down is on right now, guys. I'm having a look to see who looks good because they're more zoomed in here and it's better lighting. They've just got the lights flashing up or anything, which I don't mind during a pose down, I will say. But I don't know how it looks like overall better lighting here now. I don't understand it. Who do you guys have winning? This is exciting, guys. I'm very, very excited to see the results. Who do you have winning? <clears throat> Pose down is going on right now. And straight after this as well, make sure you subscribe to Desktop Bodybuilding and click the notification bell button. And also for Dylan, who asked in the comments, the... Uh, Results of the classic have been decided. It was C bum. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay, let me watch his pose down and commentate it for you guys. All right. So Hardy Chupin is posing down Brandon Curry here, hitting a most muscular. Brandon looks good. I mean, Hardy wins it, but Brandon's chest is the most straight I've seen in some time. That's what Comte said. Brandon looks great. Brandon's definitely better today than yesterday. No doubt, which is no surprise whatsoever. No surprise. Obviously, you guys know what he sort of went through, at least to some extent. I'm trying to find if there's anyone in my thing that isn't at the Olympia. I think Serge, yeah, Sergio's at the Olympia. Uh, Milos is at the Olympia. Maybe John, Johnny Shreve's at the Olympia, isn't he? Yeah, he's there. Justin Shire's competing in the Olympia. Yeah, most of these people with my messages. Just asking someone else. All right, so Dexter Jackson is coming out on stage to present what place? I hope they do the top 10. They used to do that back in the day. That was exciting. He said something about $16,000 going out to a gentleman tonight. So I don't know if that means for 10th place. No, it's 5th place. Well, it's not 16. I think it's 16 to everyone else. 35000 for 5th, I think. Fifth place. Andrew Jacked in fifth. So Brandon Curry is in fourth. Top five for Andrew Jacked moves from eighth to fifth. And he's just going to continue to move up. So but there's a big price difference between fifth and fourth and then fourth and third and third and second. And obviously second and first, the biggest price difference in terms of money. So 
So fifth place, Andrew jacked. I wish they were doing the top 10 results. But I understand why I look at the at things and go, we need to cut down the length of this. <clears throat> then I understand. I understand. Okay. This will be Brandon Curry in fourth. I almost have no doubt. Because otherwise he would have to beat one of those top three and it was a top three call out. So... Phil Heath just said he thinks Hunter will be fourth. I don't think so. I think it's going to be Brandon. Brandon Curry. I was right. Phil Heath was wrong. And he admits it. <laughs> he said, I was wrong. I was wrong. I do not sound like Phil Heath. Hey, I was wrong. I don't know if I could do Phil Heath's accent. I could do Milos's. I mean, absolutely. Uh, Samson should win this contest. I mean, really, you look at it. It's uh, hashtag bodybuilding. I mean, round full, muscle bellies. Uh, I mean, we're looking at the silhouette, really. I mean, shit. Look at Samson. I mean, he stands there and, wow. I mean, tallest guy in the lineup. And it is a bodybuilding. And uh, overall size should matter, really. I mean, he's used my correct uh, insulin protocols. And uh, it's worked. I mean, you, you see Samson improve so much contest to contest. But that's Milos. <laughs> Someone says Phil hates Brandon. They were rivals for a period of time there. For a small period of time. Fourth, third place is big. Samson down to third place. We have the same top two as last year. So Samson Doubter is in third. Who do you guys have? I don't disagree with Samson being in third. If he's more conditioned, he would have won. If he was able to get to that. He was having issues with sleeping, I know, through his prep. I, su I suggested to him to try some <laughs> something medicinal to help him out sleeping and stuff. Because like, sleep is so important. You know, it takes the stress off your body. Maybe it helps him get off that last little bit. Pro bodybuilders, they're very much into their uh, greenery. Probably because most pro bodybuilders are high strung. <laughs> but Samson Dowder gets third place here. Shout out to Samson. Absolute legend. He has come so far. Solidified himself now inside that top three. And I don't think we're going to see Samson outside the top three for a few years to come now. And Samson started late too, because even though he's like late 30s, he's fresh. I think he's like 38. Okay, so we have Hardy and Derek coming to the middle. Oops, I just knocked the microphone. Apologies. Apologies. Oh, my mic's not working properly. Is that real? Is my microphone working well or not? I'm good. Okay. The people who say that about my microphone, that annoys me. No problem with the mic. He's lying. Yeah. Next time I see someone put, post that, I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> I literally just checked the chat. The first thing I saw was mic not working properly with a microphone emoji. That is super annoying when people do that. All right. They're going to announce the winner of a Mr. Olympia. Who's going to win it? Derek Lunsford or Hardy Chupin? That is your top two. It could be anyone, honestly. I would not be mad if Derek won it. I'm guessing Hardy will win. I've got the rest of the top five, right? Uh, Derek Lunsford winning Miss Olympia. I might have a whole top 10, right? To be honest. Oh, Derek wins. Derek wins. Derek Lunsford has won the 2023 Mr. Olympia. Hardy is clapping, but he do he doesn't look happy, which is understandable. Hardy's congratulating Derek. Congratulations, Derek. And Derek did promise me an interview after the Olympia. Derek Lunsford wins the 2023 Mr. Olympia. Guys, I'm going to be back in just a second. I am going to be 
wrapping up this contest. I'm going to join my live, jump over to my other live, subscribe to Desktop Bodybuilding, click the notification bell button. Thanks to everyone who dropped a super chat. I'm not the microphone again. Um, <laughs> jump in there and uh, yeah, let's have our say and uh, see if I can get some IFB pros in there. Let's see. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll be back in just a moment to wrap this thing up on Desktop Bodybuilding. So for myself, Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are out.